Haley is going to read nice and expressively for us today. Go ahead, Haley. Elephants can't dance. Elephants cannot dance. Oh. That's okay. I like the expression. Learn. Learn how to dance. But elephants can't dance. You are on a no. You are kidding me. You are kidding me. No. Look it up. Page. Page eleven. Yeah. Gerald, it doesn't not does not say that you can't stand. Try. Try. Do you see how the try looks differently? So that's why Haley said try because it's got to be a little bit bigger than the rest of the words. You are right, Peggy. I can try to dance. She's got another one of those words. I can try to dance. Nice and expressive. I can try to dance. Beautiful, Haley. Aiden's going to help us read Don't Let the Pigeon Stay Up Late Nice and Expressively today. Go ahead, Aiden. I love how you said that. It was so expressive. Makes it more interesting to listen to. Thanks. Go to bed, pigeon. First, I'm not even tired. Go to bed, pigeon. Was that as, as, as expressive as you could say it, Aiden? Try that page one more time. In fact, I'm in the, in the mood for a hot dog party. <laughs> what do you say? Okay. No? <laughs> <laughs> How expressive. I can even see it on your face. No, Pigeon, go to bed. Should be very educational. No, Pigeon, go to bed. How about five more minutes? Come on, what's five minutes in the quiet? Scheme. Scheme of things. No pigeon, go to bed. What's he doing? Oh, so expressive. What? Wait! I'm not tired! Today I'm going to
going to read you Mr. Clumsy, and what I want you listening for is ways that I'm reading really expressively. It makes it more interesting. And I'm also going to circle things that tell you how to read expressively, like exclamation points and commas. I know to stop and breathe and things like that. So let's get started. Mr. Clumsy by Roger Hangreaves. It was a rather nice morning. In the sky, the sun was up, shining. In the trees, the birds were up, singing. But in a rather scruffy house in the middle of a field, somebody wasn't up. Can you guess who that somebody might be? That tells me to go up at the end because it's a question. His alarm clock went off. Mr. Clumsy woke up and reached out an arm to switch off his alarm clock and knocked it on the floor. Whoops, he said. That's the third alarm clock I've broken this week. Mr. Clumsy, as you might have guessed, was a rather clumsy fellow. He went downstairs. The postman had come. And there was a letter waiting for Mr. Clumsy lying on his doormat. He picked it up and went into his kitchen. First things first, he said, and took a slice of bread out of his bread bin and popped it into his toaster. Now, he thought, I wonder who this letter is from. He looked at the letter in his hand, but the letter wasn't in his hand. What was in his hand was a slice of bread. I don't understand it, he said. Where's the letter gone? Can you guess where the letter had gone? That's right! He put the letter in the toaster instead of the bread. And there it was, browning nicely. Whoops, he said, fishing it out. Ouch, he said, dropping it. It's hot. So now in your reading, you can use some of the same things I did to make sure you're reading expressively, like checking for question marks and exclamation points and words that might be said a little differently, like, ouch, I'm probably going to say nice and big and looking for commas, that's where I breathe and make a little space in between there. I can't wait to hear you guys read expressively.